welcome to another Astronomy and Python video. In this video we will explore the basics of Python and NumPy, which is a Python module. To get started, open up a new.py file or head over to jupyter.org slash try and select the classic notebook option. Notebooks allow us to write up what we do in Markdown and code interactively in Python. Click on File, New Notebook, Python 3 to open a new interactive notebook. Change the name by clicking on Untitled and then Rename. Make sure to save regularly by clicking on the Save button in the top left hand corner. And when you're finished today, press the Download button to save your interactive notebook. Let's begin by assigning the variable a to the integer 2. To assign it to a float, we put 2 dot for our decimal point. Notice the second assignment of A overwrites the first assignment. We now have a variable called B. Let's assign a string to it that says hello world. Notice that printing can be achieved using the Python print function or writing the variable name at the end of the block. Now let's assign the variable C, D, E, F and G using some maths functions. The asterisk is for multiplication and a double asterisk is for powers, so 2 to the power 2 for G. Again we can print those numbers with our strings. So here we are printing my number is and we are converting the number G to a string and those two strings get added together to print my number is 4. Here we are constructing a list, and this list can be a list of integers, strings, floats, anything you like. And they are constructed with square brackets. To append to a list, we use the dot append function. This will add the number 6 in our case to the end of the list. Let's now create a tuple. Tuples are formed with curved brackets, and they are ordered and unchangeable. Let's now look at how to access values from our list. The first value in our list is at index 0, the second value is at index 1, and so on. We can also use negative indices. Minus 1 is the last item in our list. Minus 2 is the penultimate item in our list, and so on. We can access multiple values in our list by using a slice. This slice will access the first, the second, and the third value in our list. For loops are an easy way of iterating over a list and performing a function on them. Here we take every value in our list and print it. Now let's look at the Python module NumPy. We can import NumPy using the statement import NumPy as NP. To make an array we can use the NumPy function NP which is our shorthand for NumPy dot A range with our start number and our end number plus one. See here we've made an array from 1 to 10 in the default step size of 1. We can see that it's an array if we use the Python type function and we can compare this to the type of our list that we made earlier. We can also use a for loop to iterate over each entry in our array just like before. We can make a new array by performing mathematical operations on the old array. Here we've doubled the first array. Another way to make an array with numpy is to use numpy.linspace. Here we need to define a start value, a finish value and the number of values we want in our array. Here I've used the int function to make sure that finish minus start of a step is an integer and not a float. Here you see numpy.linspace, our start value our finish value, and then the third argument, which is the number of values we want.
We can also create arrays by using numpy functions such as numpy.zeros and numpy.ones. Numpy.ones will create an array with ones in and numpy.zeros will create an array of just zeros. Here we've specified that our arrays are two-dimensional arrays. The shape is two rows by two columns. We can access the values in multi-dimensional arrays in a similar way to one-dimensional arrays, specifying the row number first and then the column number. Here we are going to set the value at position 1, 1 to 0. NumPy also has many built-in mathematical functions and constants. Here we access pi and then compute the log of 10 in base 10. There is also a built-in module called maths which we could have used for the same calculations. Now that you're an expert in Python, why not check out the video on plotting with matplotlib in Python? Until then, remember, stay stellar.